Welcome back, gang. And if this is your first time to your channel, my name is Baraku Flash, and we have been going over the Extreme Carnage series. It's a series that pretty much took place right after the events of Null, the King in Black, and it's pretty much Carnage being reborn, right? I uh, will leave the link to the whole playlist down at the bottom, but today we're going to go over Extreme Carnage Omega. This one starts off with Senator Peter Crane finally getting to upstate the president and having his big rally. This is visions from the past where he was trying to make wave to um, this very moment right here. But while that's happening, our trio is pretty much on a race against time trying to save supposedly dead Hank, but he's not dead because he is a damn symbiote this whole time he was one which is sleeper who was dylan's cat in the king in black um which is pretty cool i actually like how sleepers kind of design but that gives them time to head to where the issue is happening with carnage back at the rally and trying to pretty much stop crane from being died but you can see how they're already one step ahead and locking the doors and while this man is talking, he starts bleeding. And Carnage finally takes center stage by ripping this man in half. He pierces his body and pretty much rips him in half. Body parts flying everywhere. And he finally gets to put himself on TV. Like he pretty much stated, he wanted the world to see the Carnage he could cause and be scared of him. Right? I'm not sure why he was working on the fear angle, but that's what he was doing. The cool thing is, is that, you know, now we have Sleeper and we have um, Andy and Toxin all fighting um, against Carnage, the Life Foundation symbiotes, which is very, very, very cool in my opinion. I would love it to have been more of an animated series for this one. Um, but first off, last year was giving Toxin the business. <laughs> and. The one cool thing about this is that we kind of see why um, Carnage chose Arthur instead of um, Peter and Arthur's a sociopath. Like Carnage li literally has a type. He likes sociopath and that's who Arthur is. Killing people, dogs, cats, you know, the normal. But Iron Man here, as always, to try to save the day kind of... Um, too big for his bridges in this one because he kind of always seems like he's the big shot but Carnage is one step ahead because he can control all of the symbiotes and he's walking around with the dragon symbiote that he's got from Null King in Black Volume 2 that he stole and Flash told him not to wear it but obviously Iron Man doesn't listen Iron Man has big balls okay but um Carnage kind of shows like who's the boss of the, the symbiotes and he's literally about to kill Iron Man while stripping off the soup until anti-venom stops sucking for once and because <laughs> this whole series he sucked in my personal opinion right uh, up until this one moment where he sort of blasts him off of him but the issue is is that Carnage is now getting away with the strimbiote um, virus that Tony created, which changes kind of who Carnage is altogether because the Shrimbio virus itself pretty much adapts to what you need it to do. But I mean, that's how it's ending. Uh, we do get to see the Life Foundation back where they are and then Bren thinking that they won, but Flash is saying we did not win, we lost. But this is the crazy part because now we see that Arthur Crane is pretty much a, a seed of carnage now working for carnage because he kind of wants to be with the hives and we see how Gemma is still alive and kicking doing pretty much the exact same thing but her face seems to be scarred which is kind of weird I don't know if that's an art thing but um yeah um that's it for the whole extreme carnage series I will be covering more of carnage's latest books too I'm probably working my way up to more of the current stuff um it's probably gonna take me a while to do so but if you guys enjoyed this, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.